Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack, and today I forgot to fit my foot underneath my desk before we got started. I'm getting a new desk soon, too, probably. Get a new desk soon, too, probably. I want a big desk. I don't know, there's a lot of things to buy. I've been over it before, I got a huge list of things I want to buy. Huge list. Why do I always go down these stairs, dude? It's like every time, I just, I'm like, oh, stairs, I'll just take the stairs. No. It's like a terrible idea. Um, so anyway, uh, y'all y'all play some like MMOs before? You know, RuneScape. You got World of Warcraft. You got uh, Terra. You know, you got Maple Story. You got you know I don't know. I can't name any other MMOs. Um, y'all play MMOs before? You get those people who are like, uh, they're trying to scam you, right? Uh, they, they want you to, like, bring all your valuables to a specific place and it's like a dangerous place and you die and they take all your stuff or it's like a, you know, drop your stuff and then I drop my stuff and then we get to see whose stuff is more valuable, you know? Like, there's always, always, always scams happening in games. There's always people who want to try and find, uh, a way to, uh, to scam people, right? What I do, what I what I've done a number of times, in uh, in these games, because I've I've played various MMOs since I was like seven years old, and I've been scammed before, like twice. I was scammed twice in Maple Story. Um, so the first time I got scammed was um, they would trade me, and they'd put in a 60% scroll for, I believe it was Glove Attack, which was reasonably valuable, right? And then I'd be like, yeah, I'll buy it for, you know, substantially less than market price. And then they'd, uh, they'd put it in, I'd put in my money, I'd, you know, hit trade, wait for them to accept, and then they'd cancel. They'd cancel. And then uh, I would uh, like retrade them. I'm like, I want this. I want this dang scroll for significantly less than market price. Um, and I put the money in again, and then they would trade. But before I could manage to trade, they canceled. You know, so they get you into this habit of like, you have to get in there. You have to trade really, really quickly. Um, and then get your item and get out. Right? Why do I always go up the stairs every single time? Um, so eventually I ended up buying the item and I was like, yes, I got the scroll. I beat him. I did it. It was like a 60% scroll for like helmet defense or something just completely worthless. Which was, uh, my first time being scammed in a, uh, in a game. I've, uh, I, uh, that was my first time being, being scammed in a game. My second time was also in Maple Story. Um, what happened was they took me to, in Kerning, there is, like, a, uh, uh, in Kerning City, there was, like, a, uh, weird room just, be just below Kid Icarus, I believe, um, and then you could, like, hide in, like, the like this basin area at the bottom and people wouldn't be able to see you so you would have to stand there and they would stand outside of there like up high and they'd have their friend who was like crouching down in the uh, the basin area where you couldn't see them and uh, they would drop an item and then you would have to drop your item and then whenever you dropped an item that was like valuable enough or whatever their friend would come out and uh, take it and then they'd log out and be gone right so, Ripperoni. Um, hey! I wanted to get out. Here, I don't even want to go up here. Um, so they, 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 they'd hop off and, and uh, you wouldn't be able to get your items back anymore because they scammed you. That was my second time being scammed. And I don't think I've been scammed in a game ever since. So, I have a pretty good record for being scams. I have been scammed, but I didn't lose too much. And uh, I haven't been scammed too often. But uh, anyway, 
So oftentimes when people are scamming you, they want you to, they'll be like, I'm going to give away all my stuff to you. You just have to follow me to this place, right? This happens in RuneScape quite often, you know, like I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm quitting. So you just, you come over here and I'll, I'll give you my 500 mil or whatever, right? And oftentimes what happens is they'll give you a trust trade first, right? You're like, I don't know. I don't really want to go over there and they're like, I'll give you 50 mil here, you know, you follow me, and then I give you the rest, right? Then you take the 50 mil and you're like, alright, they seem legit, like they actually gave me 50 mil, like that's pretty sick. So then you follow them to, uh, you know, wherever you want to go to. And, uh, you would, um... So, so you follow them to wherever you want to go to, or wherever they want to go to, and then they'll be like, alright, I'll give you the rest of the money, you just have to, like, drop all of your stuff, or whatever, right? Um, and then I give you your money, you know, we have to have some kind of camaraderie here, we have to, you have to prove that you deserve it, and blah, 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 right? And then you drop all your stuff, and then they have, like, their friend who's in a different world, who's standing in the same spot, come over, pick up all your stuff, and then your stuff's gone. Goodbye. So that happens uh, quite often in RuneScape. What I do, oftentimes, and uh, it's not always possible because sometimes they just won't give you that first trust trade, but what I do is I'll just be like, oh, I don't know, like, I don't really want to go all the way out there, like, you sure this isn't a scam? And then they're like, oh, yeah, like, to prove it, I'll give you the 50 mil. And then they give you the 50 mil, and I'm like, all right, I'm out, see ya. <laughs> and, uh, get to take a little bit of their money. Sometimes they give you some big, big cash, you know? Cause like they will, they will give you big money to make you trust them, and then take your big money to um, to, to to wherever they can go scam you from it. And uh, that's 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 really really nice because I get to get some free money. Um, but it happens in other games too, like in Maple Story, people would uh, you know with that drop game, people have tried to do it to me since then. I don't play Maple Story anymore, but uh, people did. I just had my friends be in their spot in a different channel. Then when they dropped it, they'd hop over, take their stuff, and then uh, we'd both leave. <laughs> like, see you, dude. Thanks for your gear. Because they have to drop something valuable, right? What are we here for? They're just, they're the scammers. They don't, you don't, you don't, you don't expect to be reverse scammed, right? Doesn't, uh, it's not expected. It's not, uh... You know, it's not uh, something that people would normally... I'm trying to think of a different word for expected, so I don't have to say expected again, but I can't think of one, dude. But, um, yeah, it was always fun. So, I stopped being scammed pretty early as a, as a kid. I started trying to reverse scam them. And some, like, you know, okay. I, I, I have been... Scammers have gotten my stuff since then. But it was never, I, w I never considered myself scammed, you know what I mean? Like, I've, I've had, I've, you know, lost money to that same, um, like, scroll trick where they put in a different thing. I've definitely lost money to that more than just one time. Um, but that was because I was trying to, like, beat it, you know what I mean? It was like a game to me, you know? I didn't mind losing the money, I just wanted to see if I could beat them. That was what mattered to me. Because, like, the thing with that one is, like, they're selling the scroll for, like, way below market price. If the, the amount... If, if you had to put up a lot of money, you wouldn't care. Because, like, it's not way below market price. You know what I mean? So, like, you're never losing much with that one. Because it's just by the nature of the thing. If it was a lot, it wouldn't matter. Because you're not really getting much of a discount. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's got to be a little... Um, but they, they still do it anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I definitely have lost items to, like, drop scams and stuff. Um, I've definitely lost money to trade scams, you know. But, again, I don't consider myself to have been scammed because I was trying to beat it, you know. And I guess that's kind of, like, how part of the scamming stuff works with it, right? Is they're hoping that you will and then fail. And they probably get a pretty good return on it. But I think that I've, I've ended up making, like, more back than I've lost to them, generally speaking. By, uh... Just knowing what they're doing and then 
not falling for it necessarily and, and just trying to like reverse it on them, you know? I think I've made more back in total. Because the people are like doing drop scams and whatnot. Like they have to drop something that's actually quite valuable to make you want to also drop your item, you know? So it typically they're risking more than you, right? The scammers are typically risking more than you. They just have less chance of losing it because they're the ones who are planning it out and are expecting something to happen, whereas you're not, or at least that's the intended um, case. Um, so, but I always liked doing that. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. It's good fun. You never, 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 ever ever take something you're not willing to lose if somebody messages you and is like follow me over here and then I'll give you a whole bunch of money never take anything you're not willing to lose right like just don't you will probably there, there's a good chance that if you're gonna go along with it that they're they're doing something that you don't even know about right like maybe there's a, a specific spot in the world that is like a PvP zone because the, the devs like accidentally left it in or something you know like anything can happen you don't know so, uh, never take anything you're not willing to lose, but, uh, sometimes you can get some good stuff out of it. For sure. For sure. Speaking of Maple Story, one of my old friends, um, I think I might have told this one before, um, yeah, I think I did, I might have been on an evacuation point at the same time. Um, one of my old friends in Maple Story uh, trusted me with like 300 or 400 mil or something. And back then, that was like balling money. That was like, like these days, 400 mil of Maple Story money, it's not much. This was like pre Big Bang. 400 mil, right? Like Crystal Ilbies were like 30 mil or something like that. And that was like outside of most people's price range. <laughs> you know, like, like it was 400 mil was big money and he uh, he trusted me with it to go um do some shopping to to get some uh, new gear for him some like st upgrades and like really just gear him out to the nines right because we were both quite wealthy and um he had a uh, more than me but we were both quite wealthy um and uh so he trusted me with it with the 400 mil and uh like that that would have been in, in like dollars right 400 mil back then in dollars would probably have been about like 500 to 600 dollars like it was a lot of money um for sure um like it, it was it was quite a lot anyway so he trusted me with it and uh i was gonna go like gear up to the nines get all the stuff for him and, and all that because i understood the game mechanics a little bit better than he did and uh, he had more money than I did, so he was going to give you the money. And then I would go um, use my knowledge of the game to, to get him all the stuff that he wants. Like I was doing, I was like his personal shopper. You know, I got to go shopping, he got to get new gear, right? It was like win win for both of us. Um, once I left my Maple Story running, at the time that he gave me that money, and my friend, who was over at my house at the time, just see somebody trade him, give him 400 mil, and then be like, I have fun. You know? And, uh, so my friend goes off and, like, buys stuff <laughs> to, like, gear himself up, and, uh, just spends the 400 mil on, like, my account for my character. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God. So uh, I had to end up giving like all the stuff back to him. I think I don't even remember how it went exactly, but um, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't like the thing is my friend ended up buying like just the dumbest stuff too. So it wasn't even like stuff that I could resell. A lot of it, like some of it was like untradeable items. Um, some of it was like scrolls that he bought and then used that just whiffed. And are just gone now. Um, like, usable things that ended up just getting used. Some, like, dude, you're 400 mil. Like, I, I can get you maybe, like, 60 mil of it back, but the rest of it is gone. And, look, 
no matter how good of friends you are online, people are always gonna have some inkling of suspicion. People are always gonna have some inkling of, you know, I've I've trusted people with with similarly large amounts of money in uh, in games before, um, a number of times, but. Uh, and okay, I, I guess I'll put it this way. I have given my headhunter in Path of Exile, which is one of the more expensive items in the game for sure. I actually have several of them, um, but I've, I've given them to uh, to friends before to like try out, like people who are nowhere near wealthy enough to afford a headhunter in uh, in Path of Exile, and I've been like, yeah, like just take it, give it back to me whenever you want to like give it back whenever you're done like I, I have a spare it's fine um, and uh, you know you go have fun do what you want give it back when you're done and uh, we'll all be good I tell you if one of them were to be like hey my friend took your headhunter sold it bought a whole bunch of exalted words used all of them I have nothing left I can't repay you I'm sorry would I believe them? I can't say for certain because it's not a situation that has actually happened. I've always gotten them back when I lend it to friends. Um, it would be it would be hard. You, I would be hard pressed to to believe them though. I'll put it that way. I would be hard pressed to to believe that their friend took it, conveniently bought all of the things, wasted all of it. And then uh, lost all of it. You know, I, 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 it would be, it would be really hard for me to believe that that happened. So, needless to say, me and this guy who gave me 400 mil to go buy him stuff, and then my friend took over. He also didn't believe me when I told it, and we're no longer friends. Um, and that's reasonable, you know. Um, freak coincidence. Do I miss him? Nah, not a, not even like a little bit. <laughs> like, not at all. Um, I was fairly young at the time, like 14, 15 ish. Um, and uh, like, I'm not even, I'm not friends with the person who went and stole a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not friends with uh, the person who had a whole bunch of stuff stolen from him. I'm not friends with uh, like most of the people I was friends with back then. You know, like, I'm not, uh, really a part of that anymore, you know? Um, but, anyway. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, he, he ended up trusting me with that, and it didn't go very well, is the moral of the story, and I can't, I can't blame him for not trusting me, because, like, what are, what are the chances, right? Like, you never have your friend take over your accounts. Right? Like, that's never happened. There's never been a situation where this has happened before. Conveniently, the one time where you're trusted with a huge amount of stuff, that's the one time that your friend takes over your account. Really? Unfortunately, the answer is really, yeah. <laughs> it, like, literally, genuinely did happen, but... Can't, uh, can't blame him for not believing me, right? Because again, you know, I, I've lent my headhunter to people in Path of Exile several times. I've lent, uh, I don't know if you guys play Path of Exile, but, um, like, in the league, my total wealth, when I play Path of Exile, my total wealth typically gets up to around, like, 200 to 300 exalts. Like, I'm, I'm typically one of those players in Path of Exile when I play. When I play a league, I typically play standard. But when I play a league, I'm typically somebody who gets up to the, like, the I could buy a mirror if I wanted to, nice like, every league. I'm not somebody who's like, yeah, I get, like, 60 to 70 mirrors every league. It's no big deal or anything. But I'm, I'm definitely a player who's like, I could buy a mirror every league if I wanted to. I just don't care to. Because I don't really care about that kind of lifestyle. But, um, and I've, I've had, like, friends in leagues who, uh... I end up lending, like, my entire set of gear to, you know? Like, all, like, 200 exalts worth of, of gear over to them. Just because they're like, hey, I've actually been, like, kind of interested in your build. How is it? And I'm like, better than how is it? Here, take it. Go have fun. See how it is yourself. <laughs> you know? Like, 
I have, I have lent just an insane amount of money to, to friends in the past who I know online, and it's never bitten me in the butt. It will one day for sure. Um, it has never bitten me in the butt thus far. Um, but, you know, like I said, if I were to... When, um, I don't know if you guys play, but when, um, what was it called? Legion? Back in Legion? I had a, uh, I had a, uh, like, I was, I was playing the meta with the barrage, tornado shot kind of, um, fork, you know, rig walls, cur or rig walls, uh, quiver thing, and I had, you know, like, the meta stuff. It was many hundreds of exalts worth of gear. Um, you know, like corruptions on stuff, and like it, it was it was ball and gear. And I lent it to a, a friend who was trying it out and didn't have. You know, he had maybe like 30, 40 exalts to put towards his gear. Like it didn't compare to the, the many hundreds that I had. Um, so I uh, I lent him the gear and. Like many times, actually, he he actually got into the habit of being like, "Hey, I gotta go run a legion. Can I borrow your headhunter for a bit?" Because um, you have the uh, the headhunter gives you like a whole bunch of buffs when you kill rare enemies, and the uh, the legion boss had like a whole bunch of rare enemies in it. So you take the the, the headhunter run in there, and you go and mess up the uh, instance's day. So whenever you had to go and do those, he'd be like, "Hey, can I borrow your headhunter?" And be like, "Yeah, no problem, buddy." He goes and does it for like you know five minutes or whatever and then uh, gives it back or if he's got more he does more but i don't know somebody seems like they're alive here so we'll just like, kill him i guess um yeah anyway it was huge amounts of risk that i took on and if that guy were to have taken my headhunter and been like oops my friend sold it and bought a whole bunch of exalts and then used them all and we don't have anything to show for it so I can't even like resell the stuff to get your money back. Would I believe him? Would I trust him? Would I ever give him a headhunter again to borrow? Mm, probably not. That's probably a big fat no for me. But I like to trust people, you know? It, it, again, it's never bitten me in the butt. I guess I have... Uh, good taste in people <laughs> um, but uh, I like I like lending stuff to people you know I always one of one of my favorite things is uh, when you take like a big ticket item like a headhunter or or something and uh, you lend it to somebody and they're just like what like you're, you're just gonna like lend it to me you're, you're just gonna trust me with that and I'm like okay I am now, <laughs> you know, like, I guess that's kind of my, my, uh, my, 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 uh, requirements for, uh, for trusting you with something. If I'm like, hey, you want to borrow my headhunter? And they're like, what? You would just like do that? I don't know. Not, I don't know. It's like the way they do it. You know, if they're like, yes, please. Like, just immediately, I'm like, well, too bad. <laughs> but if they're like, you don't think I'm, you don't think I'd scam it? They're like, eh, probably wouldn't try and convince me that you would scam me if you were going to scam me, so let's go. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, that combined with just, uh, generally speaking, having pretty good taste in, in friends online, um, kind of kind of results in uh, in a pretty good situation honestly like the best friends I've made in games have been people who I like met when they were like new like genuinely like one of my one of my uh, the people like the person who in runescape I would trust the most is somebody I met randomly at war I examined them and they had like some newbie gear on from like 2007 or whatever and I was like, oh, hey, nice gear. And they're like, yeah, I just came back from uh, quitting from, from ever ago. And we got to talking. We added each other. <clears throat> we have uh, we go bossing every so often and have fun. And, 
I would I would trust him absolutely with uh, with my stuff. You know, I have some clan members who I would trust with stuff, but that's because I could give them my whole bank and it would like barely make a drop in the bucket in their total wealth. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just like some of the a lot of people tend to like in with with noobs in games or with new people or whatever. You know, you tend to discount them as being friends or whatever because they're too newbie and you want to play with people who are higher level or whatever. Honestly, if if you meet somebody and they seem cool, you helping them get to a point where they can be higher level and 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 stuff, it makes they'll get there quickly and then you'll both be able to have fun. You know, what are we going to play next time? Is it a, is it a map we'll do? Farmhouse? Farmhouse it is. Um so that's that's how I make some of my like closest friends in games is just meeting people who are new to the game and uh, like talking to them and helping them get to a, a point of being better and eventually they end up passing me you know the master becomes the student so to speak but that's how I make some of my best friends in games and then those people I don't know I guess you, you, just, you just grow that friendship like a genuine friendship from the start they don't have motivations to scam you because you've already given them everything that they have. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, I don't know. If you're just a nice person, people don't really scam you, I guess. Like, I guess that's kind of the thing, right? If you're the kind of person who's like, oh, everybody's out to get you on the internet. Yeah, you may as well just get them back. You're probably going to meet people who are going to get you back. I would never scam somebody on the internet. Genuinely, if we play a game together, you and me, you can give me like a million dollars worth of stuff in a game i'm gonna give it back to you 100 percent of the time and i guess i guess that uh you know you kind of meet other people who are similar to you who are trustworthy i guess and I, I, I like i like um lending expensive stuff to people in games though because you get that genuine like excitement when they're like what like i can just try it like i can i can experience this really and uh makes their day doesn't really take anything out of your day unless they scam you then it takes a lot out of your day but that's gonna do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you liked it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and i'll see you next time Bye bye